Hello and welcome back to our modelling tutorial series using Unreal Engine 5's modelling mode. In the previous episode we've looked at how to create and edit our shapes to create custom ones. In this episode we're going to further edit them by using a deform tool to deform them and create even more expressive shapes. So let's take a look. Okay so let's take a look at our deformation tools in our modelling mode. So you'll find them deform. Uh, we're going to first of all create a shape for us to use. So I'm bringing a cylinder here. Bleep. Uh, let's just make this guy a little bit longer. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to go to deform here. And you've got a few things uh, you can do here. So we've got sculpting. So we can sculpt the vertices of it. So if I were to click on this, I can... And it only works on vertices, so if you've got no vertices in the middle, you're not going to see anything. If you click on here, you can push and pull these out, however you wish. And obviously you've got different settings here that you can change the size of the brush, how strong it is, and, and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, you can design that one and deform it that way. You've also got uh, D-Sculpt, which is just basically a dynamic mesh uh, thing. Um, this is quite a simple shape, so it's better to use for more complex shapes as this doesn't really have a dyna sculpting going on, but you can click on it and you can see it will auto generate dynamically new bodies of shapes on it. You can see it's not a great example to use this on. Um, but you can simulate sort of things you'd see in like ZBrush or 3D Co or something. Um, but yeah, we're going to not keep that because that's ugly. Um, we also got smooth. Um, well, I should have actually showed that when I was doing that. Now, let's take that back in and that. Okay, so I click on smooth now, and you can see it's now smoothed that shape down. It again, not great. Um, for this particular example, but you've got smoothing tools there which will smooth the surface of that mesh down. Um, but being a rounded shape, not that great because it's going to round it into a really that like flat thing which you don't want so you can customize that with this smoothing option here it works better when you've got more vertices on it okay okay so you've got that one uh, let's cancel smooth next we've got mirror and uh, not uh, not mirror sorry uh, offset so uh let me undo that destruction there okay so offset and uh, so if you want it to sort of grow um we can do that too so if I take distance here up like this, except you can now see it's now grown in sort of size. Okay. It sort of takes it and expands it out, like inflates it. Um but yeah. Uh next we've got warp, which is probably the more fun one. So in here you can make a warp effect. So what you're seeing here is the yellow line is the deformation line, so this is what's gonna be bending it. And you can see the effect this is going to have on your, uh, in this mesh, in this case, a mesh, uh, by just changing the rotation and orientation of our line here. So change this here, change how much it's going to bend, break. Uh, let's change that to. Uh, let's change that there. Bend degrees there to. Let's actually pick a shape that's got better design. Hang on, because this is not a good shape. Let's do a box. Okay. okay, right. So if I go to warp on this, okay, you can kind of see it already. Uh, need ideally need more subdivisions. Hold on, let me just uh, let me just cut this up into more pieces. Um. Box subdivisions will say 10, 10, 10. There you go. Okay. And then go to warp. There we go. So now you're going to get a nicer bend going on here. You can see it's bending based upon this yellow line here. And you can change the strength of this yellow line by dragging out the different handles you see here. And we'll deform and bend things to your will. Quite nice. If you want to move the pivot, so it check bends it in a different location, just click on the little arrows in the middle here, and you can move it around, change how it bends the shape. 
even rotate it around to different angles of bend as well. So yeah, can make it like a half pipe, pretty simple to do. And you can change the angle of the bend as well with this bend degrees. Okay, so you can do some pretty unique little shapes. Again, all collision, all set up for you. Um, the other thing we've got is lattice. So if I do that again with another block in here, again, more vertices you have, the better. I'm gonna go to lattice. And this one, we can kind of see what's gonna be doing now. I can click on the individual vertices of this lattice here. I can drag them about and it will deform that part of the shape. Okay, and another option we can look at, so lattice just go up until we hit the soft, and before I talk about soft one, and we can leave that out. And the final one we've got here is displace. So if I've got the object selected, we can hit displace here, and you can see what it kind of does. It makes a noise effect all over your mesh surface. And you can change various settings on here, such as what kind of displacement do you want it to have, constant, texture, random noise, polar noise, or sine wave. It's the polar noise, it's quite noisy. Uh, we can change how much it displaces it by changing this value up and down. So it's not as strong. I don't want it to be as strong. Um, change the random seed if you want. Uh, you can do subdivisions, less more detailed. Um, yeah, so play about with different settings here and you can get different effects coming out of it. Okay, but there is that and noise to your uh, environments. And that brings us to the end of the deforms. Um, but yeah, do experiment, do play around with them, see what other settings are, they are full of settings, and we're not gonna go through each one. But do just tick them, see what they do, untick them, see what they don't do, learn what your options are available to you. And there we go, we've got our deformations in there to create all sorts of weird and wonderful shapes for our levels and uh, pre-visualizations. In the next episode, we'll be covering how to use the UV tools as well as some other little minor tools inside the modeling mode that will help you out massively. So you can watch our next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can catch all my videos early before everyone else from just $1 a month. I say thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. I want to say a massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. And if you like what I do, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone. Oh, <laughs>